Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day as always. Uh, man, I apologize again for just putting up a vlog like once a week. It's just lately with the traveling and what's going on with the backyard and then just breeding season started. It's just been really, really hectic over here, but I'm trying to get back on it, which I promise you guys we will. Um, but today, as you guys can see, we are gonna be cutting a really, really cool clutch, but you're also looking at a little quail over here from Stillwater Quills. It's because we're feeding Andy our anaconda, which you guys, you know, get to see how fast he is. I mean, dude, I did a video recently with him and this guy almost bit my freaking head off, but you know, Andy is one of our only snakes here that doesn't eat any rodents, he eats these little quails. And again, if you guys wanna know where we get our quails, it's from Stillwater Quails. They produce some amazing quality feeders here. But, oh snap, as you can see. Did he grab him? I think so, yeah. Or did he just freaking bite it? No, oh yeah, there he goes. Dude, he is so freaking fast. Come here, show me here, keep on looking at him so you can see all the, you know, how's they coiling up and coiling up in there. So freaking crazy. Dude, he honestly scares the hell out of me. Look, this guy's hungry too. He gets to eat today. Today um, is feeding day, but dude, he scares the hell out of me. It's not like I'm afraid of him, but just the way he comes at you sometimes is just so freaking insane. He's so super fast. But yeah, so we have this clutch to cut. This is the last clutch from the last one of our last pairings. Um, we're not gonna be having any more clutches here till around. I want to say like August, September, you know our season comes super, super late. Um, speaking of our season, check out this uh, clutch right here. I mean this uh, pairing. Look at that. Right there, guys, we have the Stranger Pompeii, which is red stripe, spot nose, yellow belly, stranger clown, to a blackhead, leopard clown. So hopefully we hit some really cool stuff. And here's another pairing too that we have that's locked right now. They're, you know, over each other, so I can't really move it, but sorry about the mess too. But um, right here is a ultra male clown breeding to a red stripe ultra male 66% head clown. So hopefully it proves out. Um, we had a lot more pairings, but they're actually not, you know, locked up anymore. And I know a lot of you guys are asking, how is the backyard process going? Well, man, they've already taken out all the concrete out. They're actually forming the can deliver, which is gonna be the coping of around the pool. And we have so much different things that um, we're actually gonna be adding to it, which I'm gonna show you guys right now, but I need to tell the workers out there to you know, turn the music out because then they'll get a copyright strike. So give me one second, I'll show you guys the backyard. All right guys, so you guys can see all the concrete's out. And again, big shout out and thank you to these gentlemen right here for getting everything done. But yeah, so right now what they're doing is framing all the cantilever for the coping. So this is gonna be stamped concrete. Then the back over here, we're actually gonna have some squares with some grass. We decided to take all of that brush off of there. Um, we're taking that tree down. We're gonna put three palm trees coming up there, some smaller ones down there. But look at all this, man. The drains are already in. I mean, dude, these guys get down. I cannot tell you guys how excited we are. We're actually um, ripping all this old plaster out. We're putting some brand new pebble tech. I mean, just look at all this. And we'll be showing you guys updates on this every time we vlog. But yeah, it's gonna go all the way out. First the backyard. Then the front, you got the turtle over there. All right, yeah, man, my brother has, dude, he has a great set of workers, man. It's so crazy seeing my brother Jesse going from, you know, helping me work here for a few years to, you know, running a big, you know, construction company. I mean, this guy has over 10, he has more employees than I do. He has four or five different jobs. I mean, the guy's so busy, I can't tell you how proud I am of that guy, man. I mean, Jesse, big shout out to you, big dog. It's amazing. If you guys want to check out all the work he's doing, uh, I'll put all this information in the description down below. Another thing, you guys are probably looking at the man, what's wrong with this guy's neck? Well, you guys know that I'm trying to tattoo my whole neck. I've been trying to do it for a while. My tattoo artist that I've been going to do my neck is out there in Mexico City. Um, and, you know, just doing a piece of your neck, man, it gets so swollen. And dang, I ain't gonna lie, man, it's pretty painful. Um, right, as you guys can see right here, it's called a Katrina. It's actually, you know, um, from Dios de los Muertos. I'm doing another one over here. I mean, the whole thing that we're looking at, how it's gonna be, it's so amazing. Big shout out to Shomar. I'll show you guys a quick little video when he first did it, so you kind of see how it looks. Um, check this out. Yeah, guys, I am super excited, man. I've always wanted to be, ta be uh, tattoo myself from like, you know, like 
head to toe, you know, for a while, you know, never wanted to go down here, but then, you know, when I started personal training, I was like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna be a personal trainer forever. Then I went there. Then when I started doing this, I started working up, uh, opening some other businesses, and I made a quota for myself. I was like, all right, you know what, I'm gonna do the hands. Now, you know, every year I kind of, you know, I'm never gonna do the face, but yeah, all right, that's done. All right, guys, so this pairing right here is a super chocolate clown bred to a black pastel red stripe head clown. So everything's gonna be um, chocolate, and hopefully we hit some cool black pastel chocolate red stripe clown combos. More visuals, the better, right? So let's see. And we have a lot of these little guys already pipping out. I can already tell that's a black pastel chocolate clown. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Damn, it's been a while since I've cut a clutch. Yeah, it's been a minute. Two, three, yeah, it's already just three little lines. All right, so let's start off with these right here. And the cool thing is that they're already pipping now, so you know we're gonna make some really, really big cuts to see exactly what we got in there. And like I said, these things all are going to be chocolate. So right here we have a chocolate clown. Don't see any red stripe or anything else. Any other thing that could be in this pairing would it be black pastel. But the cool thing is that we have a visual. Next would be this guy. And right here we have a black pastel chocolate. It's a pretty cool snake. Dude, all of them are pipped out. This guy right here looks cool and he looks stuck. Oh, this thing is pretty. All right, so black pastel chocolate. Not sure if it's red stripe. I've never made anything like this, but man, this thing is really pretty. I like how black pastel and chocolate look together. I don't think I've ever seen a black pastel chocolate. are pretty big too all right we got two more we have two visuals so far hopefully the rest of these are visuals as well i don't think it is right here you know what i take it back this right here is just a chocolate possible red stripe i believe this is the black pastel chocolate looks a lot darker these freaking snakes are huge man all right, and then we have the last one right here, and I believe this is the visual. I just saw his head pop out and it just went in. And I believe this one does have red stripe. It's a lot lighter than the other one. Where's its head? I just saw your head come over here, little dude. Look at that, wow. That is pretty. Dude, these are so freaking cool. Again, I don't think I've ever, yeah, one of these has to have red stripe. Pretty good odds, man. If you think about it, right here we have, again, having the super always works, helps, but right here we have a super chocolate, black pastel chocolate, I believe chocolate, possible red stripe, um, black pastel chocolate, and I would say black pastel chocolate red stripe clown right there. Get a little closer, turtle. See the light's picking it up. Is it picking it up on them? It's the light, Let's not really. Let's go over here a little bit more. Sorry about that, guys. I don't see. Is that better? Digging this right here. Very pretty. This thing is super, super cool. Wow, that is so amazing. You guys know I will be doing an update once um once it come out of the egg and everything. Um, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you guys, I was gonna ask you guys, I might go back to like old school vlogging things. You know what I do in the morning, things like that. A little, just spice things up, change things a little bit. Uh, let me know what you guys think about there. Should we just keep it strictly uh, snakes? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I won't get upset with all the comments because some of you guys just go off on me either way. But as always, guys, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace. <laughs>